welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Ming and this is Chef BJ Wong. In today's video, we're gonna do another Costco food review of the Bibigo beef bulgogi mandu. Okay, first question. What does mandu mean? Dumpling. In which language? Korean. Great job! I taught you well. No, I knew that. Okay, so we love Costco and we love the brand BB Go. It's one of our favorite brands from Costco for Asian food. We've tried several dumplings from BB Go. We got the chicken vegetable. We also had the mini wontons. Mini wontons, highly recommended. Link and, in the description and below. And also the chicken with vegetable was really great. And today we're gonna try the beef bulgogi. We love beef bulgogi. So we're gonna try it in a dumpling form. So it says extra large dumplings filled with Korean style bulgogi flavor. Are you excited? Let's get started. Oh. First, food fact. Actually, food trivia. Huh? What does bulgogi mean? Comment down below if you know. Miss Ming, what's it mean? I, I don't know. I thought you were supposed to be smart and all knowing. Okay, what does that mean? Fire. It means fire. Fire, fire. meat. Oh, wow. You know so much about Korean. Good job. Because I watch a lot of TV. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, how do we make this one? What are the instructions? Recommended cooking instruction is to pan fry. Pan fry? Pour three tablespoons of vegetable oil into a pan. Only cook four frozen mandus at one time. That ain't happening. Only four at four? one time? That's, That's crazy. Heat on medium high heat for eight minutes. Turn every two to three. So basically just pan fry. You don't want to burn it. So you want it nice and crispy. Looking like that. Get some color. Get some color. Like wait, that. Wait, wait, why do you have to cook four at a time? Because it says put four in a pan. I'm extremely hungry. I can eat all four by myself. Four mandus is one serving set is one serving. That ain't happening. I'll probably eat eight. I'll probably eat eight. Let's open it. I I think being small, being a small girl, I should have eaten less, but that's not the case. Who eats more, me or you? Doesn't matter. It's not a contest. It's not a contest. First observation. These are no bigger than normal dumplings. These are the same size as all pots. I think it's bigger. Not I, I actually think it's bigger. I don't think so. I think it's bigger. Look. Ha. This I'm is, not impressed with the size of the... Well, I think it's bigger. It's definitely larger than other dumplings, but it's definitely not extra large. It's probably large. But it does look pretty. They did make it nice. It's got the nice little dinosaur ridges. Looks like this was a properly made dark dumpling. Or gyoza. Gyoza. Let's go. Let's go. Get my pan. Okay, so now first do the pan. Okay, if I'm, <laughs> it's kind of weird that I'm holding, I'm holding a microphone is because there is a huge echo in the room. So we want to increase the viewer experience for the audio. Okay, so now first. Got my trusty pan from Costco also. This one's good. Yeah, I don't know if they sell, sell it, but... I don't know, but I bought three of them so far. <laughs> I bought three of them so far because you burned yeah, I'm gonna one buy of a them. fourth one because this one has become not perfectly flat. Okay. Because I use it too much. Step one, oil. Wow, I like the new lighting. It's so good. One, two, three. That's too much. No, you don't need that much. That's three tablespoons. That's what it said. I do what it says. It said three tablespoons. That's three tablespoons. It said only make four at a time. That's not happening. We're making more. Woo! They're hot. God oil's hot. I think that's good. You're only gonna eat four? 
We don't want them to be sticky, yeah. Are they stick? I think the reason why you only make four is because you don't want them to be sticky. You don't want them to stick to each other. Color, color, color. The ones with less color you should put in the middle of the pan. The ones with a lot of color put more towards the outside. So you know. You're playing with fire! Medium high heat, all you need. Because you want to cook them through. Too hot, they'll just burn. Perfect. Looking ready. Looking ready. You have to cook them to your desired crispiness. I like my dumplings crispy. I like crispy gyoza. Other people don't like them so crispy. But I think it gives them better flavor. Shazam! Booyah! Here. Here we go. Got my food. I'm gonna try it first. Dumplings first. Ah. Uh. She already ate it. <laughs> mm, mm. What are you doing? Mm. My meatball fell. First impression, not what I thought it would look like on the inside. I thought it would look like bulgogi meat, but it just looks like dumpling filling. It looks like a meatball. Perfect crispiness, looks good. It is bulgogi meat. Ooh, smells good. Let me let me try it. That tastes pretty good. I like it. It's got some good beef flavor. It's not as sweet as normal bulgogi. It tastes more like a meatball. The vegetables are okay. I could do without them, honestly. I think it's okay. spicy. It's a little bit spicy. It has a little bit of heat. I think it's the bulgogi flavor. The meat itself is really, really juicy and it's pretty soft texture. Well, actually the wrap is really crispy and the wrap- That's how I cooked it. The wrap is actually really thin. So it's thin wrap with a huge meatball in the middle. Yeah, there's a good amount of meat in there. It's good There's though. a lot of meat in there. And the, the flavor is really good. So the texture is really good. It's really juicy. It's a meatball inside with a little bit of vegetables, but I can hardly taste the vegetable. I can definitely taste the vegetables, like celery, some carrot, some other green stuff. I think onion. they enhance the, they enhance the flavor more than the texture. Well, I will tell you though, if it had the normal bulgogi that you just buy from Costco in the pan, it probably tastes better because that bulgogi is like super flavorful, super sweet. I think this one is super flavorful This is too. just kind of like, I, I'd say it's like a meatball. Do you taste the spiciness? No. I taste the spiciness. It's a little bit spicy with a little bit of heat. It's not like spicy dumpling, but it has a little bit of heat. Mm. But I do think this is one of the better dumplings in Costco because it has very thin wrap and really big stuffing meatball. I, I agree. Overall value is definitely there. Like, would I buy this instead of my normal dumpling pot stickers? No. Like, if I had to only buy one, I wouldn't buy this one. Which one would you buy? The freaking hot one. The one with hot chicken inside. Like, hot pork from Tim's Market. Mm. Review down below. That one is sriracha flavor. Exactly. But that one tastes so much better. Way better flavor. Definitely on the smaller side compared to these. But... You know, this is a nice change up. On the Mr. BJ Wong scale, 0 to 10. Solid 
Mm. Solid 7.8. I definitely will buy it again, but I'm not replacing it. I would give it a nine. Because the one that you normally buy is too mm. spicy for the majority of people. But these, the other plus though is you don't need sauce with it. You could just eat this like this. Because the flavor is good, the meat is good, it's very juicy, and it's very big with a very thin wrap. Mm -hmm. I don't see any I don't see any limitations of this dumpling. I would give it a nine. I would say that I've definitely had better dumplings, but they're usually from the restaurants, not from frozen dumplings. For a frozen dumpling, I would give it a nine. I think it tastes good though. Overall, like I said, it's on the list. You can buy it. The don't buy the one that he usually get unless you like spicy because he usually gets the one that's a sriracha flavored. It's extremely spicy for a lot of people who can't handle spice. This one is really, really good. It's actually really, really flavorful. It's just there's not a lot of spice in it. That's why he doesn't like it because it's not as strong and salty. But it definitely tastes good. So overall on the list, you can buy it again, but don't forget to buy my normal dumplings as well. Not normal dumplings, sriracha flavored pot stickers. Sriracha pot stickers. Pot stickers. Nobody knows what normal dumpling is. It's my normal dumpling. It's the sriracha flavored pot stickers, but this one will be really great because not everybody has access to the sriracha flavor unless you have an Asian market or Asian store. But this one is like, I think they have it in Canada as well. And also this one will be more towards Korean flavor. But overall, I give it a 9, he give it a 7.8. I think on average, this will be 8.5. So highly recommend. Alrighty, that's it for today's review video. If you like it, please give it a... Smash the like button! For the YouTube algorithm. And before you go, don't forget to... Comment down below that I am the most handsome person you've ever seen. No, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the notification bell ding, 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 so that you won't miss out on future content. And if you know any other food from Costco you want us to buy and review, please comment down below as well because we love food. Chocolate fudge lava cake. <laughs> All right. I know someone wants me to review that because I want to eat it. Alrighty, that's it for today. Thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell. I will see you in my next video. Bye! Bye! No, go this way a little bit more. Well, yeah,